Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 18 box. The Autumn Wind is a Raider. Football mix, doesn't say Raiders there, but the Autumn Wind football mix, that's the whole thing. 32 spot break, random teams, everyone gets a team in the NFL, no vet common ship, multiple years, and multiple high end boxes. A lot of great stuff here, ladies and gentlemen. Big thanks to everybody right here for getting into it. Whether you won spots or whether you bought spots straight up, I really appreciate everybody digging deep for this mixer. There are the teams right there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Two and a six, eight times. One, two, three, four. And eighth and final time, after eight, we got Kevin down to Blaine. Oh, yeah, Tyler, we do. Check the merch area on jaspies.com. All right, two and a six, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I said eight, right? <laughs> Eighth and final time, eight times. Kansas City Chiefs down to the Miami Dolphins. There we go. All right, Kevin with a spot you won, the Chiefs. Adam with the Washington football team. Kerry with the Cardinals. Kevin with the Browns. Kenny with the Pats. Kevin with the Saints. Robert with the Raiders. You got my Raiders. Adam with the Falcons. John with the Vikings. Kevin with the Chargers. Ken with the Niners. Jordan with the Bucks. Nick Stover with the Titans. Bradley, you got the Jets. Casey with the Eagles. David with the Packers. Matthew with the Cowboys. Michael with the Lions. Uh, Kerry with the Steelers. Brian Crouch, you got the Bills. Chris Erickson with the Jags. Matthew with the Ravens. Chris with the Seahawks with the spot you bought straight up. Blaine with the Broncos. Jesse, you got the Bears. Billy with the Bengals. Robert with the Texans. Kerry with the uh, Panthers. Ollie with the Colts. Derek with the Rams. Corey with the Giants. And Blaine with the Miami Dolphins. And you can see Nick starting to rip open some of the packs right there. Let's get all this on one screen. And we'll give it a minute or so for trades and let people kind of think about what teams they have. And remember, I'm going to flip to this screen right here. Just remember the different years that are in here. Think about your rookie classes um, while you're trading. Just keep that in mind. Because if it's a particular rookie, one big hit could could uh, could be it. What's up, Absolute? Doing okay.
monster box? Kevin made fun of me yesterday because, or the other day, he was like, I had like four different liquids. Like, I got a coffee, got an iced tea, got a water, and an orange juice the other day, a Gatorade. All right. No thanks. I'll pass. I'll just roll with Jonathan Taylor. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So it looks like no trades. Let's close it. Let's roll. TWC means trade window closed. Let's print and rip. Right, I don't know if I have enough supplies for this. That's not what he said. Hmm? That's not what he said. <laughs> your quote. I think you're missing some words. <laughs> oh, is it like like the Luke, the I am your you father? Yeah. Yeah, I thought he had some explosives in there. Oh, did, did he? Have you ever seen the Chris Berman? Yeah, funny. <laughs> the Chris Berman one's pretty funny. Where the person's walking on the set and can't concentrate. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that one. Remember when Christian Bale went off on that guy? On the set of Terminator? I've never seen that. You've never seen that? I thought he was nice. I don't know if there's, if there's... I know, he usually is, but there was some unfortunate audio where he was just like ripping into the lighting guy. I and saw... And it was just um, like... Yeah. Who's the... Who's the guy in the baseball movies? Not Kevin Costner, but... Dan, Dennis Quaid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw a recent one of him that just came out, and that was really bad. What, just him just yelling at yeah like, yelling at people yeah assistants dumbasses wow these Hollywood type folks that's what happens I mean unless that person really screwed up yeah but he was name calling and oh he was, like he was getting personal oh yeah that's not good all right does this have a checklist Okay, so we're going by our collegiate rules. That's just a common. That's a bad comment anyway. Oh, okay. We're going by our collegiate rules. So if we see a hit here, it's going to go to the team they played for the longest if they are retired, or the team that they're currently on. This being 2014, we are looking for. Jr. ODB, as Mike you can Evans. see, Mikey Evans, Teddy Bridgewater. Bridgie, old old bridge, Jarvis Landry, Derek Carr, <laughs> Johnny Menzel, Johnny Football, Blake Bortles, the board, the boat, Calvin Benjamin, K Ben, Brandon Cook, to ninety nine. There's our first Bruce Ellington. Yeah, 49ers, I believe he was. I Niners. He is now. Wherever he is now, Bruce Ellington. Don't forget about Dante Moncrief. Ollie's reminding us. Um, Zach Mettenberger. Oh, Zemeth. Bruce Ellington is not. With a team. I believe he played for the Niners. So he played for the Niners the longest, yes. So I was ka on that. You are ka-ching, ka -ching. That cashes. That's right, Kevin White. Um, so that's for you, Kang, and the Niners. Won that spot in one of our filler breaks. Maybe a little uh, Sammy Watkins. Ooh, old Watt. Turned down for Watt. 
Bishop Sankey. Oh, Stanky Sankey. Man, he'll get you with that with that first Stanky step. And then he's, then he's in then he's in the secondary. Maybe a little. Oh, that's an autograph. Terrence West. What about DJ Shockley? Remember him? That's an auto. Yeah, that's an auto. Isn't that weird? Is that facsimile? No, it's there's a sticker right there. Never heard of him. He's an old, older player. Though. Is he an older player? That's definitely not a new uniform set. No, it's not. The helmet looks a little different too. Jake Locker's 2011. But... DJ Shockley. Todd Boyd is correct. Was drafted in 2006. By who? By the Atlanta Falcons. There you go. He, he didn't have to go too far. Trying to trade, couldn't trade. Much. He was actually on that team for four four seasons. Before going to the Omaha Nighthawks, Adam Kupperman tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Would have missed that on the DJ. Is he a first round pick? Seventh round. Uh, yeah, it kind of looks like a one from back there. Yeah. No, I was going to be like, no. Seventh round pick, 223rd overall. By the Atlanta Falcons. First team all SEC. Yeah. A championship game MVP as well. So I guess people in Georgia, people who are in Georgia are just like, come on, you guys don't remember DJ Shockley? Jeremy Hills in 2014. Um, I believe CJ Fedorowicz, the tight end. Oh, yeah, CJ Fedorowicz. <laughs> yeah, someone's really jealous right now, Adam Coverman. Someone who was at that 2005 SEC championship game and was like, that was the greatest day of my life when, when Georgia beat... Maybe your Georgia Bulldog mascot friend. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think that was his time. He's a lot younger than that. Bart Starr? He's younger. Or older. Young, younger. But I'm sure he watched. Yeah, I'm sure when he was a kid. Yeah, they're a big Georgia family, so... Yeah. I'm sure as a kid, he'll. If I no, texted him like, right now, I could be like, "Hey, remember DJ Shockley in that SEC meant, championship game?" He'd be like, "Yeah." Yeah, he was sick, balled out. <laughs> balled out. He was thrown out to uh, Nicole Hardman Senior. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's, it goes to Green Bay. That'll be for David Ivers. He was thrown out to uh, um, Georgia running back. All right, you want you want to see what this team had? Yeah, give me a, some players. Okay, Georgia beat the LSU uh, in the SEC championship game in 2005. That's the 04. No, it's 2005 season. It was in December. Uh, Bulldogs beat the Tigers 34-14. The nine and two Bulldogs beat the ten and one LSU Tigers. Uh, Mike Mark Rick was the coach of Georgia. Les Miles was the coach of LSU. Jamarcus Russell. That's oh, that was the Jamarcus Russell team, right. Wayne Bowe. That team was stacked Ooh. on LSU. Didn't they win a natty? Sean Bailey was on that team. Matt Flynn was on that team. Huh. Hmm. Matt Flynn was on who, whose team? Matt Flynn. I guess they took Jamarcus Russell out. <laughs> and they and Matt Flynn a threw a... Through then a, Marcus Russell won a national championship a year later. Probably, I and think then a year so. later got drafted by, by the Raiders. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Number one. You don't have to remind me of that. Remember than the Raiders? Nah, you don't, have to remind, you don't have to remind me of that. What the F is Jamarcus Russell doing now? That SOB. Look, look at him. Look at him. Just That's a terrible. He got screwed. Yeah. By the Raiders. 2007 round one pick. Well, what do you mean he got screwed by the Raiders? It's a bad culture back then. <laughs> Actually, yeah, no, that was not the best. Who's his best weapon? The, that was not. The dopey uh, speed wide receiver. What's his name? Tim Brown, my. What's his name? What's the fast? Denarius name? Moore. Denarius Moore. No, Darius Hayward no, Bay. No, Darius Hayward Bay. He's he had he had concrete bricks for hands. Yeah. He had cinder blocks for he hands, like, but he could run like a four one four one forty. Nelson Aguilar before Nelson. Aguilar. But he was Nelson Aguilar, and then Raiders now have Nelson Aguilar. And then, uh, yeah. They say history repeats itself, right? <laughs> I guess so. Things run in cycles. Man, Darius Hayward Bay. He stinks. There was one game early in the year, like a week two game. They were in they were in uh, New England. Nice Alabama patch. We'll randomize someone in the break. And uh, I remember Derek Carr was, was it Derek Carr? It wasn't Derek Carr. Some, whoever it was, was driving down the field. Maybe Carson Palmer. Maybe it was Palmer, something like that. And... 
Darius Hayward Bay runs like right in, and the end zone is like right here, and he cuts in. There's nobody around him. And this was like the Raiders were going to beat the freaking Patriots, right, with this drive. And drops it. Drops it. Bounces yeah, right, right I mean, off, right off his head. Didn't they have like Lane Kiffin as head coach, like the youngest ever coach? And like that was this, a bad yeah, team. that's actually not. So a... then he just went off to lose. He ate a lot of like just uh, like 80s feelings. Fried foods and like just like, like soda, I guess, or whatever. <laughs> didn't he like have an addiction to that? Purple stuff? drink, maybe. The unhealthy food. Yep, that was the Lane Kiffin team. Yeah. Greg Knapp was your offensive coordinator. I mean, <laughs> oh, that's a bad. Is that a dual auto? What? No. Oh, no. It was just a dual... I would have noticed it. No, it was just that. Yeah, it looks like it should be That was Jamarcus Russell yeah. with your running backs. Oh, I don't even remember these guys. Justin pre, Griffith, pre, Lamont Jordan. That was oh. pre Remember Justin Fargus? I'll go to the Steelers. And look at his five. receivers. Name out his receivers. <laughs> Ronald Curry. No, oh, Johnny Lee Higgins Johnny was on. Lee Higgins. Tim Dwight. Jerry Porter. Jerry Porter was great. Wasn't he like 40? No, yeah, well, maybe, yeah. Jerry Porter was great. Zach Miller, I mean, Tony Stewart, John stink. Madsen as your tight ends. Woo. And I'm sure the linemen stunk. Now, Robert, 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 Robert Gallery was pretty Fargus was Honey Bear's kid. Honey Bear? From, uh, yeah, Lee Higgins. Just, Justin Fargus. Oh, this is a trip down memory lane. Like right that show. But if you if oh, this you was what Warren Sapp on the Raiders. Warren Sapp yeah, was on this team. That. If he had Jamarcus Russell and he went like uh, to a better system, I think he'd still be in the NFL. Today. Maybe, <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> that is not a good team. Starsky and Hutch. That was a show. Namdi, Oso- Osumgawa. Uh, Namdi Osmoa. Osumwa was not. Yeah, yeah. Million dollars and he stinks. No, he Nandi Asamoa was good, the not Raiders that great. The Eagles now, right? signed Nandi Asamoa for like three hundred million dollars, and then they said it's a dream team, and then Vince Young said that. And then the best, the best players on this on this two thousand and seven Raiders team was definitely Shane Leckler, Hall of Fame punter Shane He's Leckler, good. and Hall of Fame kicker Janikowski, <laughs> and uh, and Warren Sapp. Like, yeah, I think Robert. Oh, well, he was yeah, he was well past his prime. I think Robert Gallery might have been a multiple time Pro Bowler. No, he's. Still no, he was not. Never mind. No, he was not good. He was not good. No, it was... Chris Clemens is okay, I think. Derek Burgess. Yeah, that was a bad team. And, and yeah, that was, it was just... It was just a bad situation for Jamarcus. No, yeah, no, it, it wasn't the best situation for Jamarcus Russell. There's no way you can have that kind of arm and, and not be good in the NFL. I mean... I mean, people talked about David Carr. He would have been better if he didn't get drafted yeah, by the Yeah, I think he would too. And Ooh, nice team. rated rookie. Blue press proof. Jor- Jordan Her- Herbert. Justin Herbert. A lot of jo- J names, right? Jordan, Jordan Love, Love, Justin Jordan Herbert, Herbert, Joey Burrow. Jake Fromm. Jake Fromm. A lot of, lot of J names right here. Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson, a lot of, lot of J names. Nice one, Chargers. That'll be Marcus for Kevin. Russell. Marcus freaking Russell. I guess Lane Kiffin was pretty young, right? That was like one of his... Is that his, like his first head coaching job? Yeah, he was the youngest at the time. Right. The youngest and then get like... And if you can't control, like, if you don't have the respect of like... A quarterback who maybe no, you got Warren Sapp running his mouth. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then didn't Warren Sapp do something really bad and it got post off TV yet? Yeah. Po- yeah. yeah. Well, no, I don't think it was bad. I think it was really bad. No, I think he just solicited. So, oh, you think it was other? I don't know, but I think I know, he was. I've... I, I know for a fact he was on TV on pregame all the time, and then all of a sudden... I think during in a, in a Super Bowl... Pre-2017, during, when all the other in, stuff happened, in, in pre. In the Super Bowl, in Phoenix, I think, I think he solicited the... Yeah. P word? Yeah. Yeah. A, a woman of ill repute. I guess that's not that bad. No, it's not that bad. As long as you... you but it's illegal in Phoenix. <laughs> right, but you would think he'd, be, he'd have a job now. Right, yeah, and then, and then and then cancel culture. But it was there wasn't really that many back then. No, there wasn't. It's not like Marv Albert, right? 
No, it wasn't like Marv Albert. Marv Albert was actually like charged with like a like assault, I think. Or what? Yeah, yeah. Fighting, fighting her. Right, right, right. Was it Marv Albert? It was Marv Albert. Yeah. But then they slowly worked him no, back in. Back on every yeah. They got him into college basketball first. They eased him back in, and now he's doing like, you know, conference finals games now. Yancey, unfortunately, we are we are too late for that basketball mixer. Because this, this this is gonna take us well past the top of the hour, and we're still like, I think two filler breaks away. So apologies for that, everybody. But I'm glad we got this football mixer in. And I think we're about two or three boxes into this 18 box mixer, ladies and gentlemen. All right, thanks for understanding, I Appreciate that. We got it pretty close, though. I'm sure that'll be one of Jason's. Anyone looking for a gold or shoe box? Our last one ever is on uh, Jaspies.com. Hit draft. Jaspies.com. That's where Ted is right now. In fact, yes, yeah, since we're. Unless you want to watch this group break with us and goof around with us, if you have the itch to do something, he you know, Yancey or anybody else, at Jaspies Rakes on Instagram, you can see all the info in the chat. You can go visit Ted, talk to him about his Miami Dolphins. The biggest chaser card out of 33 packs are still remaining in like the last eight or nine packs. Henry Ooh. Ruggs 101 SEC Bowl. Whoa! Easily worth over Whoa, if only I could join group breaks. I would try to chase that. Or the fillers, I would chase that. <laughs> Ogeron's voice. I love Ogeron. Such a, such a coach voice. definitely a football guy. Yeah. Did you... They, they, did an inter, they did an interview with, like, his mom? And she kind of also has a gruff voice a little bit. But you like, can tell that... Have you ever that... seen when he's been uh, at a press conference in the practice facility and they're practicing behind him uh -huh. and they're, like, they're making a lot of noise, kind of, the, the players and the coaching staff? So he gets out of the press conference and yells at him and then he comes back and he's like, sorry. And then they start making noise again and he, like, oh, no. out. It's really funny. Well, I'm disciplined. That... Discipline. This 2018 Optic football box is like 1200 bucks right now. Why is it 1200 bucks? Oh, Lamar Jackson? Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen. MVP Rated rookie Carolina. Chrome Donruss Optic design right here. CJ Henderson for the Jaguars. Legends of the Fall, Tom Brady. That is still Patriots edition. Some people still like Baker Mayfield. Maybe Baker Mayfield's having a decent season. He's had a decent season. Sam Darnold, I feel like, could be a good buy low candidate. Yeah, that team's all banged up, and like this guy's hurt too. He he was supposed to be like the big receiver yeah. for them, Denzel Mims. So yeah, I could see. Yeah, I don't know what the Jets are oh, gonna do. And another Justin Herbert right there, rated rookie. If they get the number one pick, do they take Lawrence? Going to the Bolts. Adam Gates and trade Sam Darnold. Yes. Or do they take an offensive tackle? The guy from Oregon, maybe. He's like a stud. I mean, I can you pass up Trevor Lawrence? Yeah, I don't know. If you have the number one spot, same with the Giants. But is Sam Darnold and a really good like offensive line, or is that better than Trevor Lawrence? With if no you're gonna fire line? Adam Gase, like I think you should just blow everything up. New coach, new quarterback, I guess, yeah. and then just trade Darnold for picks. You know, and then try to, and then just rebuild from there. Yeah, Adams. Are the Giants can do the same thing if they get number one with Daniel Jones. Yeah, I think so. So you tell me, all these guys, Haskins, Jones, and Darnold, they get one or two seasons with a terrible team to prove it. Oh, it sucks, right? That doesn't seem very fair. Uh, Oliver saying maybe Giants doesn't. Yeah, I think so, too. I, I think Sam Darnold could get better as well. But, you know, it, it's like when Cliff Kingsbury came in, they didn't ask him to work with Josh Rosen. 
I think he Kingsbury was like, hey, if I do that, I want to make sure I can draft a quarterback <laughs> to the ownership. And the ownership's like, all right, fine, you know. So I think that's what I think that's what will happen in New York if they move Adam Gase, new, any new coach that comes in who knows that they're going to get the number one overall pick, they're going to be like, hey, I I don't want to work with Sam Darnold. I want to. That's what I'd say if I got if I went in there. I'd be like, you know what? I want to start with Trevor Lawrence. I want to start with the guy that I like. And yeah, if the scouts are right about Trevor Lawrence, you don't want to pass him. It'd be like passing on Andrew Luck back in the day. Right. The, the Colts Which sucks for Sam Darnold because I yeah I, I agree I think he I think there is still but that might be better for Sam Darnold he might find his way and change the scenery but the, then I'm worried that Sam Darnold turns into Josh Rosen and just kind of floats around and nobody actually wants to give him a shot even though he should I get think a shot. that's Josh Josh Rosen as a, as a oh as a as a person yeah he's not maybe good. not not coachable yeah. people question that when he came out they that's true was, they did they said he was too smart. Too smart? Like he knew too many things other than football. So he's just not like just he's a dumb jock. Like, like just ben like Rothenberg, yeah, who's just like he a just dumb idiot. Like eats, just, eats, you know, breathes. Eat, eats, breathes, and sleeps. Just and play foot, book and yeah. football. Yeah. Josh Rosen, too cultured. <laughs> too cultured for the NFL. Doesn't love football enough. Maybe, I'm, but maybe that's true. Sometimes you got to be like, you got to be single-minded about that stuff. There he is right there, Josh Rosen. You heard, you heard us talking about him. His cards still sell well, though. Do they really? Given the fact, I mean, yeah. Like, relatively speaking? Yeah, considering I mean, he's not had made a now, start? everyone's, like, prospecting guys, you know? But when he signed to the Bucks, his cards, like, doubled. Really? Yeah. What, from, like, 20 to 40 or something like that? 40 to 80? I think, like, 40 to 80. 40 to 80? Wow. Like, his more premium cards braided and stuff. Same with, um... Yeah, there's a lot of prospecting. Same with, uh... Mitch Trubisky. Yeah, what do they do with him? Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of quarterbacks on the market next year. I don't know how many quarterbacks after Trevor Lawrence that are very good. I know the Ohio State guy, some people are high on. But other than that, I don't know. We're only like three boxes in, Nick. No. I'll do a recap at the end of all the hits, so in case you miss. We're getting the sort of heavier, boring stuff out of the way first, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there could still be some rookie surprises in here. And then uh, and then, as we get towards the end, we'll get to the higher end stuff and the more hit-heavy, exciting stuff. Leave the football in there. Oh, is that everything? Yeah, I'll cut the seat. Nice. So everything you see on that top camera, that's the mixer, folks. So we'll we'll just slowly make our way through it. So should I just kind of go this row first and this row and end with this row? Yeah. All right. Maybe end with the football? Oh, end the football, yeah. Football will be last. We'll play a little bit of uh, Who Am I at the end, so... Get your thinking caps on for the very last box of the break. Fun. Nice. Thank you, Nick. It's, it's big help. Helps this mixer go by a little more quickly. Ah, 
Caught him. Lamar Jackson. That's what we're looking for. Still in his college gear there, but that's score rookie Lamar Jackson for Matthew D. Nice. I'm sure that could be, I don't know, put your eyeballs on it. That could be gradable. Could be graded. Should be graded. Matt might be lagging behind. I think he just asked me when's the autumn mixer going to go. Make sure you're live, Matt. I guess he's going to hear that 20 minutes later. But All right, next up is some prestige. All right, good luck. This is like our maybe our fourth box here. This is 2020, so this is current year prestige. There's Joe Burrow. If a big windstorm came through the shop, Rex, yeah, that would not be good. This mixer will be all mixed up. Just a green parallel that will ship though. These are all vet commons, which will not ship, but of course, all the rookies obviously will. AJ Dillon will ship. Is looking for Joe Burrows, Justin Herberts, and Tua's. That'll be for the Chargers. That's going to be for Kevin. A lot of Justin Herbert opportunities, Kev. Thank you for getting in. LSU colors there it was but it's not Joe Burrow it's his teammate Justin Jefferson He's actually doing pretty well in uh in Minnesota Ooh, another another bird league leaders 408 completions for Matt Ryan that's for the Falcons and that is for Adam Kupperman tried to trade couldn't trade mojo Ruggs is healthy. That'll be good for my Raiders this week. I have a question for you guys. What is the team? I feel like there's always a team that starts off the season terribly in the first three or four weeks, and then they rattle off like another four or five wins, you know, in a row, something like that. I feel like the, I feel like I've seen a lot of Steelers teams start seasons poorly, and the sky is falling, and then and they rattle off like six wins in a row. Who's that team going to be? Dolphins are 1 and 3. Jets are 0 oh and 4. Bengals are 1 2 and 1. Jaguars are 1 and 3. Texans are 0 oh and 4. Chargers and Broncos are 1 and 3. The whole NFC East is garbage, right? Vikings and Lions are 1 and 3. Falcons are 0 oh and 4. Texans all he says. They actually I feel like I feel like they actually have a kind of an easy schedule coming up. Relatively easy. 
should be easy for the Texans coming up. So they could rattle off some wins. And all of a sudden, they could be 4-4 four and four and everyone's like, well, what's the big deal? What was the big deal in this season? Everything's fine. What does everyone think? Yeah, I think Texans are probably a good candidate for, I guess, regression, like being progression, regression back to the mean. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like the, I think I've lost so much money betting on the Falcons that I feel like, I feel like uh, the Falcons just have to at some point, rattle off a bunch of wins, right? Come on, Falcons. Like, they can't be this bad and this unlucky. There's Joe Burrow. He's pretty good. Bengals. Billy Whiteside has the Bengals. You're getting all those Joe Burrows. All right, this one has that green foil on there, so that's a parallel. I like these cards. Look at that. Heroes, Patrick Mahomes. I don't know about this particular card, but I know, like, there's Panini has Marvel's cards and Kabooms that use that comic book style design. And I think those sell pretty well on a secondary market. So I'm sure with Mahomes and that kind of insert should should stand the same, Kevin, with the Chiefs. Kevin R. Chiefs. Yeah, Oliver's saying, listen, Texans had to play the Ravens, Chiefs, Steelers. You know, within the first three games. So Romeo Cornell, he thinks, rallies the troops. They got Deshaun Watson, still have J.J. Watt. You know, and they'll get get, get every get all get those guys back on track. I guess if the team itself, the players weren't really happy with with Bill O'Brien himself, then maybe there will be a new coach, a new coach bump, new coach boost. Which, which can happen, which tends to happen. Is Raheem Mostert, he may be back on Sunday tomorrow. It's already, it's already football day tomorrow. And Jason Peters back here. This is Donruss from 2020, current year Donruss. So let's keep the current draft class in our heads here. And there's Anthony McFarlane Jr. autographed to 299 for the Steelers. I think this is a hobby box, so yeah, we should see some autographs and stuff here. That goes to Carey. Got randomized the Steelers. And all those numbered cards will make sure that they are uh, sleeved and top loaded before, before they go out. Hey, and John, I got a question for you. What uh, what tape are you uh, are you backing here? I just heard a commercial for Alien Tape. We got Gorilla Tape. We got Frog Tape. We got Scotch Tape, Duct Tape. All, I mean, what is that? <laughs> what, what what tape family are we gonna be? Blue tape, green tape, frog tape. Lynn Bowden Jr. tape, 3M tape, Oliver, what, what tape are we backing? 
What tape side are we on? I don't know. Do I? I don't know if I trust Frog Tape. That doesn't seem like a. There's T Rex tape too. I think there's T Rex tape out there. Am I? Are we a T Rex tape family? That that sounds pretty epic. There's Nick Bosa. It's a pretty epic card right there. That big thick card stock. Twelve out of twenty-five. Two color patch. Leather Kings for Kang and the Niners. Cassette tapes, right? Rex, you're you're on the side of cassette tapes. We got James Morgan to 500. That's a tape I'm not. Yeah, Flex Steel, Flex Tape, Tape Worm. I don't want Tape Worms. I'm not into that. But there's Flex Tape. There's Flex Tape. Are we a Flex Tape family? Jaspi is brought to you by Flex Tape. Oh yeah, what was our what was our glue idea? We can expand into tape, Jorge. We can also expand into tape. Yeah, that's what I heard. The flex seal can hold in the Hoover Dam. Fact. There's a crack in there. The, the guys just go right there, pop some flex seal on it. We're good. Right in glass boats, and he's just like boating around in the. In the in the Caribbean, <laughs> I saw this boat in half. There's Minshew, Swift, Van Jefferson, Tyler Boyd. Yeah, we should we do a flex heel commercial? Tie a bunch of empty hobby boxes together, go paddle boarding or something. Just take a bunch of, we're take a bunch of uh, elite base cards right here from uh, 2017 or from 2018, and, and make a boat out of it. We made a boat out of veteran commons. To 299, there's Jordan Howard, and we went paddle boarding. Ah, <laughs> oh, crack myself up. I was out of 299. Oh man, yeah. Sorry about that. Adam's right. Adam's like, watch. People are going to be watching this. They're going to get tons of ads during the break, and it'll be, it'll all be like, hey, are you interested in flex tape? Hey, what do you think about flex seal? Hey, we'd like the, we'd like you to answer a quick survey before you continue watching this video. You know, like, which, which of these brands have you heard of? Frog tape, T Rex tape, flex tape. Gorilla Glue, now, the SEC has put on a lengthy rule Patrick Mahomes. Whoa, 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 Rex. As long as we're using Flex Seal, it'll be fine. And there is 271 out of 299, Marquette King. Remember him? Look at him, it's actually an actually in action market king. It's Raiders that goes to Robert. And we've got Big Gilbert Brown. 86 out of 99. Impact impressions for the Go Pack Go, David Ivers. There's a die cut. Uh, Jameis Winston to 24. To 99, face to face. And we got Jaleel Scott Pen Pals autograph. On card auto for Matthew. Matthew Didier. Matthew D. With the Purple Birds. Nice. DJ Moore. And back here is AJ Green to 299. Mitchell Trubisky and uh, Gerald McCoy. Oh, 
we'll go, yeah, we'll go with this mosaic right here. Yeah, <laughs> Yancey, I think you can pay YouTube to remove ads. Or if you if you do YouTube premium, do they still show you ads? Or whatever the YouTube TV service is, do they still make you watch ads? Maybe they do. Are they doubling up on money on that? Are they double dipping? Make you pay a monthly subscription and still get advertising money? AJ Terrell Green going to Atlanta. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we should just turn off that advertising. I don't know how much money we really make on that. <laughs> Joey Bosa, rated rookie. We got Tyreek Hill. Paxton Lynch and Kenneth Dixon. Relic. Oh man, Adam, I'll I'll tell you a story. I think I, I was listening to uh, I think I was listening to a something something to fall asleep. I was listening to like some white noise or something like that. I forget what it was. And there was a GD ad right in the middle of it. So I'm here I am trying to trying to lull myself to sleep after an incredible night of pulling heat all day long at Jaspies. You know? Trying to cool down the hot hands and go to sleep. And then there was like this soothing thing that was happening. It's like at Purple Mattress, like right like in my and I was wearing headphones too. At Purple Mattress, we don't use foam technology. It's like, what? <laughs> and I was like, now I just use Audible and Spotify. Got a big Purple Mattress ad in my head. This house is terrible. That Derrick Henry's not terrible. Nick Stober, rated rookie Derrick Henry. He's pretty good. <laughs> Yancey was brutal. And I'm listening to sleep stuff, right? So it's so all the ads are catered to say so Casper mattress and it's like the ads like five times louder than the actual video itself. Right in the middle of like an hour long video of sound. It's just like 40 minutes into it. Explosive Todd Gurley. And Lamar Jackson, rated rookie. There you go, Matthew with the Ravens. We'll have to look at this. I, I think there's a way for us to set the setting on where the ads fall, but I don't know if we have total control over that. It's really more like a suggestion to YouTube on where they should land the ads. There's Josh Rosen we were talking about a little bit earlier. So I don't know if we can even change it. And they, the new uploading process makes it so difficult to, to change those settings anyway. So I don't know. There's out of 299, that'll go to Carrie and the cards. What's effective though is Instagram marketing. That's how you found Jaspies? In an IG ad? There's Tom Brady. And ooh, ooh, Saquon Barkley rated rookie autograph. That goes to Corey and the New York Football Giants. Wow, twenty three out of thirty five. That is solid. There it is. There's Corey right there. Bought a spot straight up. Corey did. Got randomized the Giants, ends up with the Saquon Barkley. This probably covers the spot? I would assume so. Maybe graded even more? Maybe if he was healthy? I don't know. I mean, worth worth keeping, though, obviously. It's Saquon Barkley. It's Michael Gallup, rated rookie hollow. 
Tom Brady to 299. Devontae Adams to 99. Is this a parallel hot box? Joe Flacco making a start this week for the Jets. There's Denzel Ward to 199. I think Sam Darnold has a shoulder thing. He landed on his shoulder really weird in the game last week. Quentin Nelson. Deshaun Hamilton. Mason Rudolph, the Red-Nosed Reindeer, 149. Jason Kelsey, and Mason Rudolph again. All right, oh, we're almost, we're almost done, folks. Let's get this playoffs. Playoffs? I don't know about playoffs. I'm just trying to win a game. That's the 99, Irv Smith, Air Command, Big Ben. They've got these flipped around to make me think they're autographs. But you won't fool me, Panini. You won't fool me. Rookie Kyler Murray, there you go. And Michael Thomas, um, accolades, relic. For the Saints, that'll be for Kevin. And check this out. Carey. With the Kyler Murray rookie. He's been playing some good football. I don't think he's really reached mid-season form just yet. They've been winning some ball games, though. You know what? Daryl Henderson actually been playing some good football right here. Deserves a little extra attention. He would have shipped anyway, but so there's a little extra attention. That goes to the Rams. Derek Knoll. And Nikhil Harry, rookie autograph for the Pats. Kenny with the Patriots. Stargazing, Patrick Mahomes, Dwayne Haskins benched for the time being. So if Kyle Allen's just garbage in Washington, Dwayne they, they just kind of bring Dwayne Haskins back. So I guess, guess we'll try you again. Just keep going back and forth. So, in regards to Instagram marketing, that's how they found you. Uh oh. Maybe he he sunk. See, I I maybe object to maybe sunk, as the word Christopher P. I'd like to think you've gotten some nice stuff, and <laughs> he's like Shh, Joe. Got some nice stuff and maybe develop, delivered some some uh, small layer of entertainment, entertainment value, invested. Thank you. <laughs> now, hey, listen, this this should all be disposable income money, ladies and gentlemen. You know, this should be fun. If it's not fun, we tell people don't do it. Now, as long as you're having fun, hey, keep it up. But yeah, it looks like Yancey said sponsored ads. Chris P2. We don't do a lot of traditional advertising. I guess that, that's really one of, one of the spots where we do it. All right, there you go, Chris P. Yeah. Where's your bottle service money going? Not, it's not going to the club, so I guess it's got to go, go to us. There's DeAndre Baker. Another giant for Corey. Yeah, let us know how all those graded cards work out for you, too. There's Paris Campbell to 10. And Julian Love right here, too. Jorge, yes, I did. I did hit that DECA in triple threads. That was actually for Chris P. That was pretty sweet. All right, Contenders.
There's Raquel Armstead autograph. Who's in jail now? 116 the same? There's Raquel Armstead, Jaguars, Chris Erickson. We got Matt Lacoste, 81 out of 99. Oh, DeAndre Baker. For a second, I was just like, I thought you were talking about Baker Mayfield. And I was like, what? Right, DeAndre Baker, I think, had lost a bunch of money in a card game. Was that what the, was that the, was that him? Him and another teammate of his? Nice Josh Allen, great pass rusher for the Jags. That'll be for Chris Erickson. And then came he got lost a bunch of money in a card game and then came back and like with a gun and stuck up the card game and very very weird. Maybe he shouldn't be playing cards. Maybe he's not very good. Ooh. Oh, I thought Different purple bird. I thought someone else. It's Miles Boykin, though. 10 out of 10. Acetate autograph for the Ravens. Matthew. I don't think people traditionally get books of that size graded, Chris. I guess you could, you could get anything graded, but I don't know if that's entirely necessary. And I don't know how they would grade it out. Like, I guess... The, the average of all the gray, of all the autos would be a grade, and then the quality of the book itself. I don't know. What do you think, everybody? I, I, I don't think so, right? Chris uh, hit a big uh, DECA relic, DECA auto, DECA relic? DECA auto book, all Dodgers, old and, old and new, uh, out of triple threats. I think it was out of 10, maybe, number to 10. Yeah, I feel like I've never seen any of those graded. My guess is there wouldn't be a need to. There's Chandler Jones to 175. And there's Dax Raymond. Dax, 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 Dax. Dax with antioxidants. Yeah, listen, if the if the if the Dodgers knock on wood, if they can take care of business this year, then yeah, that deck of book would suddenly be there'll be a lot of interest in Dodgers stuff, that's for sure. Alright, let's do this. Is this a blaster? Is this I don't know what this is. But it's Donner's optic, small stack. Is this choice maybe? No, I don't think so. Jared Goff rated rookie. He's been playing well this year. But yeah, I don't know how they would encase that too. Would they just encase it, fold it up? That's kind of boring, but would they, would they get a long case? Maybe a long case? But yeah, I don't think the grading is as necessary. There's Sterling Shepard to 49. We're, in, we're, we're into the higher end stuff now. That is for uh, the Giants. That's for Corey. Vanilla Gorilla, what's up, Mike? Do you think the Josh? Do you think Josh Jacobs will be able to run on the Chiefs? I hope so. It's Kenyon Drake to twenty-five. Haven't other teams been able to run on the? Chiefs? Here's the problem, though. The the, the Raiders, are, their offense gets kind of simple without Henry Ruggs and Brian Edwards. Rugs might be back to stretch the field out a little bit. Their cinematic signature is Kenyon Drake. This is Dolphins edition going to Blaine. So if they can't get a decent passing game going, then then I think they can just stuff the box and, 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 and try to let Zay Jones and Nelson Aguilar beat them and then just try to stop 
Josh Jacobs and double team Darren Waller. That's a 7 out of 99 on the Colby Listenby going to Buffalo. Brian Crouch with the Bills. We got a redemption here. Back here is Luke Keekley for the Panthers, 49. And the redemption is Sammy Watkins. Starring role signatures. Sammy Watkins in 2016 must be a bill, right? That's what the checklist would be. Yeah, he would be a bill in that checklist. So I know that's expired. This goes to Buffalo. Buffalo! Brian Crouch with the Bills. Buffalo Gold. And a free top loader. Um, Panini, I, I, I say this every time, but just as a reminder to everybody, Panini, it does a pretty good job at either getting you that, if it's expired, getting you that, or getting you points that are kind of equal to the value of this. And you can sell the points too. Believe it or not, a lot of people buy the points. All right, limited football right here. Here's Darius Geis, 35 out of 75, two-color patch and autograph for Washington. That's going to go to Adam Kupperman for the spot that he won. Got randomized Washington with that one. Yeah, you might have to build a custom thing for that, Chris. I don't, I don't know if they make if they make cases for books of that nature. Call me Ishmael, Steve Ishmael, 132 out of 199. There you go. That'll be for the Colts. That's going to go to Oliver. There's Keelan Cole to 99. There's Deonta Foreman, 62 out of 99. Limitless Relic for the Texans. Robert Runkle with the Texans. Well, you don't... Who? Oliver, you don't remember Steve Ishmael? Are you kidding me? No, that, that's different Ishmael. I can't believe Oliver does not remember Steve Ishmael. I'm, I remember uh, him playing college football for Syracuse. Went to North Miami Beach High School. Ooh, was on the Colts. Right? Oh, I remember that. I remember, I remember that big time. There's not a lot, not a lot for him here on the Wikipedia page. I guess a knee injury. I guess he got IR'd with a knee injury in August of 2019, waived in April 2020, and he's he's not not hooked up with another team. Kamel Ishmael is his brother, who has played as a defensive back linebacker for the Falcons since 23 between 2013 and 2019. Um, became a free, uh, became a free agent, then had a tryout in March of this year. Tried out with the Niners in August and hasn't been uh, hasn't gone onto a team yet. I think that the Quadrian Rocket Ishmael family spelled their last name differently, maybe with an I. All right, certified. That'll be 2020 certified. So we're looking for. Again, the current draft class. There's Antonio Gandy Golden, Washington. That'll be for Adam. Tommy Stevens to 199. Check that 399. That's Melvin Gordon to 99. Clyde Edwards E. Lair with that. Street art background there. What's up, Aaron? What's going on? Remember how it's street art and it used to be called just graffiti? An eyesore. No, not street art. To four ninety to four forty nine. That's Chase Claypool. Carry with the Chase Claypool. Nice. The camera's getting tired. I can't focus this quickly. It's all right, camera. We're almost done. Steve Atwater. Lasting Impressions autograph. 28 out of 99. That is for Blaine. I almost said Blaine Gabbert. No, 
It's Blaine Garrett with the Denver Broncos. Sorry, Blaine. There's Julio Jones. Julio! There's Jordan Brooks. There's uh, Keyshawn Vaughn to 299. This commercial always cracks me up. Was his daughter really just about to bail on him before she went to college? It just seemed like there's like a weird storyline there. Ooh, Joe Burrow. Right here. I don't know, maybe their relationship wasn't that good, but it seemed like it was because... I don't know. Anyway. Cincinnati Bengals. Billy, well, I'm just reading too much into it. Cincinnati Bengals, Joe Burrow, graffiti background. There's Alvin Kamara to 199. And almost there, we got Origins. And that's Justin Herbert Relic. What a patch. Look at that color. That's to 18 to 49. White Stripes. What's the song called? Seven Nation Army. White Stripes. They're playing SNL now or whoever. It stinks. Yeah, SNL bands never sound good on SNL. Walked away with that Justin Herbert. He's back. That goes to the Chargers. That'll be for Kevin. Back here, Jonathan Taylor. Origins on card autograph for Oliver. There you go. You know this guy. I mean, he's no Steve Ishmael, but but there's Jonathan Taylor for Ollie. We got Gabriel Davis. Four color patch and autograph for Brian Crouch. Buffalo! And what do we what do we have back here? We got Big Ben to 175 and Derrick Henry to 99. We've got two more things to go. I'll do a little recap too, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry. We've got this little mosaic stack right here with the Kid Reporter card on the back. I think this is mosaic choice. So this should be some nice stuff here. Let's use this blank card. We got a Keyshawn Vaughn silver. That's for the Buccaneers. That'll be for Jordan. Move all the stack of hits right here. We've got Javon Curse, mosaic autograph for the Titans. That'll be for Nick Stober. We got Troy Aikman to 80. Dallas, that's going to be for Matthew. We got Mike Evans to 80. Buccaneers, that's for Jordan. Jacob Eason, rookie mosaic for Oliver. And the Colts, that's 80. 60 out of 80. We got Justin Jefferson, nice Justin Jefferson. He's been looking pretty good for the Vikings in recent weeks, John McCall. Onwards and upwards for him. Zach Moss, Brian Crouch, Buffalo! Buffalo Bills. And we've got Julius Peppers. This spicy hit going to go to Carolina, going to Cary in Carolina. All right, and now everyone's favorite game. Who am I? Yes.
an autographed football. He's a football player. Do they not have the name on it? Oh, there it is. All right. Who am I? This is TriStar. Thanks, TriStar, for these video game, uh, like TV game show host cards. I'm a retired football player, nine-time Pro Bowl selection and seven-time All-Pro selection, four-time Super Bowl champ and Super Bowl MVP, an NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year, and a key player in one of uh, oh, one of the most football's most famous plays. Hmm. And I'm I'm a Hall of Famer in the early '90s. I'll I'll, I'll give you one guess. In that famous play, he never actually caught this. It hit the ground first. Everyone knows that. What lies. And that ball hit the ground first. That was, nine, that was the 1972 NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year. Key player in one of the, in one of the professional, fo- in, in, uh, professional football's most famous plays dubbed... The Immaculate Reception. Oh. Yep, yeah, you, you were about to say it. Franco Harris? Yes. There it is, Franco Harris. The ball hit the ground. No, they're, they're all over, as a Raider fan, the ball hit the ground. Everyone knows that. Where's your autograph, Franco? This is a nice ball, though. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's a big autograph. That's nice. There you go. Big Franco Harris autograph. Ball hit. See, he never he never touched this. He's used to seeing this on the ground first. Doink, and then into his hands. He scooped it up off the ground. We all know this. One of these days, there's going to be a Zapruder film that comes out that shows the ball hitting the ground, unless the Steelers organization have burned those tapes already. There you go. Raiders getting screwed again in another play. It's just, that's Raiders being Raiders. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That's obviously the Steelers. Kerry Sasso with that one. That is awesome. Um, I'm sure there's some left-right cards in this. We'll use this card to represent the left-right cards. And everyone has a chance at that extra Alabama jersey card. Dude, not a clean catch, Oliver. There's, there's a Pruder film. I know it. The entire Rooney family's covering it up. It's one of the biggest cover-ups in professional sports. Wait till that wait till that scandal goes down. Just you know Doink into his hands. Change history forever. There's everybody's names right there. And we'll do the left right randomizer right here. Left right. I'm telling you, once that Zapruder film comes out, Oliver. Alright. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Two and a three, five times. I'm sure he caught it. One. No, he didn't. Two, three, four, and fifth and final time. Left side cards will get those. One, two, three, four, and five. If there was tape and they covered it up, it might be there. After five. Blaine, there you go. You'll get that extra Alabama card right here. What a great break, folks. What a great break. Let's go from the last-ish box to the first-ish box. And I hit hit the big hit on the bottom. We actually had a lot of nice hits. Some Joe Burrows in here. Some nice jersey autographs. Chase Claypool. Steve Ishmael was in there. Sammy Watkins. The Gala was nice. Goff-rated rookie. Josh Allen. We got Kyler Murray rookie card. Josh Rosen, some upside. Lamar Jackson, Derrick Henry, Gilbert Brown, Nick Bosa, Patrick Mahomes heroes card it was pretty cool. There's the Joe Burrow green foil. Justin Herbert, Joe Burrow, another Lamar Jackson rookie card from Score. We got the Rugs rated rookie, the Justin Herbert rated rookie. Bart Starr for Green Bay, for Atlanta. There's DJ Shockley, SEC champion. Bruce Ellington, and of course, 
the Saquon Barkley. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, there's a little, still a lot of cardboard dust on here. But there you go, boys and girls. That was a great mixer. 18 box, the Autumn Wind football mixer in the books, folks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.